Good morning and welcome to today's lesson on how to use Prezi. Um, you are looking at the moment at the Prezi file. The, the, this is the workspace that you have when you're actually using Prezi and it's incredibly easy to use. Um, you may say, why use Prezi and not use PowerPoint? Well, there are various reasons. One, because it's very easy. And two, because you can do a lot more with it and you can zoom into exactly what you want to. So, to begin, you simply double click and you write. So, our presentation this morning is about how to use Prezi, which you can find at Prezi. Dot com. Okay, this is the title, and I like that. I want to make it a bit bigger now, so if I click once on that, I get what they call the zebra thing. If I click on this inner line, I can make this bigger, so that it's a real title. Um, if I click on this, I can move around or do what I want, and it's as simple as this. Okay, but before you get to this stage, you need an account. So the first thing you have to do is to go to the site and you will see something like this. Let's see if I can Prezi. This is the Prezi site at Prezi.com. I'm not going to show you how to make an account because it's very simple. It's all set up for you. If you go to the top here you will see login or sign up. It's, if you click here, you'll see that there are different types of account, as usual. Um, I have a public account, which is free, and it provides me with 100 megabytes of space, which is quite enough. Um, you can make as many Prezi's as you want. Um, to learn how to use them again, here's another tutorial, which is very simple. You just click on this, and it gives you the tutorial Okay, so you can watch this. I'm not going to show you that. If you click on Learn, you'll find a lot more Prezi's, um, which give you lots of help, and a manual, which give you help too. So there are lots of things to help you. Once you have your account, you can go to your Prezi's, and you can start working. So, um, another thing that you can do once you've put a title is to add a frame. You can put circles or this. Let's have a nice circle here and we'll put it around our Prezi.com. Okay, so if I zoom out a little bit or if I move the canvas around, which I sometimes can, let's zoom in a bit, you can see that this is in fact the center. Um, this is what you work with, so you can move back and forth from various things. If you're just writing, you're here. Um, just one click, you can move this around. Now, if I want to add on to the first stage, I'll write and I'll put it here at the top. So, double click and I write again. Stage one, opening on account. Okay, that's fine. But I want to move it round a little bit, so I'll have it coming out like that. And I don't want it to be quite as big as my title, so I'll move it back there. And it doesn't need to have a frame, because the frame is round here. Okay, stage two is getting rid of that because I don't like it. Okay. Stage two is learning to use Prezi. 
And as we said, you can do this like this. and by looking at the tutorial. OK, if you don't like the look of these things, you can also change the whole look of the Prezi, although you can't change the individual fonts and colors of these things. So imagine that we want something like this. You click on it, and the whole thing changes. And then we go back to write again. OK, this, fra this frame I don't really want so I can delete it. Um, you can also insert pictures. You can do this from your own computer. So let's insert this, which is one of my favorite Images, same thing works. You click on it and you can move it with the central thing. You can make it smaller like this. And you can turn it around like that. So I think I'll put this image here in my first thing. Because now I can't see it very well. So I'll just make this a bit bigger and go back to the center. Okay, that's nice. Um, if you forget what you want to do and you want help at any time, you can click on help and all these things come through and tell you what to do. The next stage is to put in a path. By clicking on path, you can determine what people see first. So I now have add. I want this one. This is the first. This is what people will see first. And then this is the second, this is the third, and this is the fourth. So let's have a look at that. To do that, we need to go back to Show. And then we can use these arrows here. This tells me this is what I see. This is the first thing, this is the second, the third, and the fourth. OK, I quite like that. So I'm going to save it. I think. Save now. And it's saved. Don't know what those are. I'm going to take them out. Save it again. And then let's exit and we'll see what we've got. In the second video, I'll show you how to use this more effectively for teaching purposes. This was just an introduction on how to use the program. Okay. So if we exit here, this is what it now looks like. And people watching it will start with this. And you can either click and move from point to point, which is true for you doing it as a presentation as well. Or you also have the option to use auto autoplay, and it goes through the presentation at its own speed. You can share your Prezi, send it by email, and you can embed it in a site or a blog that you have. So, thank you for watching this video today. The next one will show you, as I said, how to use it more specifically for language teaching. Bye for now.